Hello. Today, we have a project. Do you see this stack right here? That's a lot of linen. You see, all of these pieces are too small to make a new piece of clothing by themselves. But combined, I think we could make something pretty cool. I have a plan. That plan is to use this little piece of cardboard to cut out a lot of diamonds. And then I'm gonna sew those diamonds and make it into the coolest corset dress you've ever seen. <gasps> Will it be time consuming? Absolutely. Will I love every second of it? Probably mostly. Am I ready for the journey? Absolutely. So are you ready to join me on this journey? Let's go. To do this, I have a cutting mat, some pinking shears, two fabric pencils, three stencils, and all my fabric. And all I have to do is take my fabric, lay it on my cutting mat, take my fabric diamond, and trace. Then I cut it out. And I'll just do that about a bajillion more times. I cut out all the diamonds and now it's time to count them. I counted them all and I have 303 diamonds. Now I have to lay out one strip of diamonds. I measured my skirt length, which is 33 inches. And I discovered that the right length for all these diamonds is 10 across. So now I have to figure out what pattern I'm gonna do so that none of the colors touch their own color. So that's the next step. So I'm finally ready to sew these triangles together. And on my iPad, I made myself a pattern uh, based on the number of diamonds I have. So it's gonna be 10 down and 30 across. I went in manually and counted the number of pieces I had of each color. So now, equipped with my pattern, I can start sewing all of these pieces together. Wish me luck. Okay, so it's taken me forever to make this fabric, but I am gonna finish it. I'm gonna finish sewing all these pieces together today. Okay, I've got you to keep me accountable. <laughs> and I only have 11 more to go and I can do it and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna finish it today so that I can finally start making the dress, which I think is gonna be actually really quick. <laughs> That was the last one. So on to the sewing part. Um, I've done some planning today and the plan for the dress is to have it be kind of open in the front. So my vision is to have like a vest slash corsety thingy 
on top and then it's connected to a skirt which will be open in the front. I'm going to be combining two patterns. One is this one. It's Simplicity Costumes for Adults. And they have this vest thing that I have made many of. So I'm going to have to create a different skirt. For that, I'm going to be using this two hour bias skirt pattern. So because this fabric is pretty short and when it's at my waist, it goes to only my knee, I'm going to do a gathered ruffle at the bottom. I haven't like fully decided that. It's possible that at the end I'll want to like just take the remaining triangles and like sew them on the bottom, but that would be a lot of work. So I have some interfacing for the corset. I don't know if I have enough. I ha might have to get some more. And I have some bed sheets. I'm gonna ask Will if I can use these. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but this is the skirt pattern. And as I mentioned before, the fabric is quite a bit shorter than the skirt pattern. And I was planning on making like a, a long strip of fabric and just like gathering it, but I'm seeing that there's really not very much fabric to spare. There's only like a foot pretty much. So what I might end up having to do, which is the thing that I was like worried that I would have to do, which is like going in and like piecing together everything that's left to the, the bottom, just like adding them all one by one. But maybe it won't be so bad. <laughs> So I did decide to piece together little sections in order to make the skirt longer. I spent the whole day just like adding like about a foot to the bottom of these skirt pieces. Now these are much longer and they're not perfect, but I'm like pretty ready to be done with this part of the the project because it's super time consuming. Now all that I have left is three perfect diamonds, like three uncut diamonds. So I have lengthened it as much as possible and that is all I can do. I wanted to share that uh, there's always a stage in my project where I start doubting the purpose of creation of art and like why am I doing this like oh yeah another person sewing <laughs> you know basically my my inner critic comes out I think it's a reasonable question to be asking myself the reason why I keep making videos is because I think there's something really cool about art being just an expression of my life. And in this particular case, this piece is kind of supposed to represent that this, this dress is just my life. All these pieces coming together to create one cohesive entity that I can wear as much as I want in memory of a special time. And, and if I am creating from the place of authenticity from my heart, if I'm creating directly from my life, then it will always be important to me because, because it's my life. That's all I want to do. Take it in. This is the real Kevin in the evening. 
nothing fancy. Just me and my nose strips and my cats and my mess and the crickets outside and yeah, that's it. <laughs> So I have to record on my phone because my camera is taking a million years to transfer onto my other hard drive, but I'm running out of time because I want to wear this dress on Sunday for an event here in Eugene called the Fairy Court. So I have to hustle and finish this dress and I think I can make it. I finished the skirt, it's lined with gold on the inside, <laughs> and, and I just have to make the corset and then attach it to the skirt. I think I can finish it. I'm really trying to finish it today because I only have, uh, I pretty much only have today because I'm going to go surfing with Will tomorrow, but you can see it, it's coming out, it's coming forward. I'm just hemming my dress. I have to show you that I'm surrounded by little kitties. I just finished it this morning and I haven't put it on yet. I have no idea what it's going to look like. What do you think? I just looked at myself in the in the in my camera because I don't have a mirror out here. But I feel really good about this. It looks really cool. <laughs> I am so proud of it. Well, I have to get ready now for the fairy court that I'm going to. So I've had this dress for a week and these are my final thoughts. Basically, I love this dress. It's totally what I imagined. And this way of wearing it was the particular way that I envisioned with the leggings underneath because it's like I can move around in it. I really like how it fits. I feel like I'm really cool <laughs> in it. I feel really proud of myself for the little details that I decided to do even though it would take longer. Like I hand embroidered all these holes to match each color of fabric. And it's so nice, it just is so satisfying. I went to the fairy court in this dress. Here is a picture of my friend Estrella and I right before we went and I feel like this dress got the recognition it deserved. Um, if you think this dress is cool and you like this video please like and subscribe. I just follow wherever my inspiration calls me. I would love to have you join the community. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I will see you next time.